He's really, really good. He just gave me his paw. What a good boy. Hey guys, this is Dr. Lara. Today I'm here with Axel. Axel is a nine-year-old Akita who is intact. That means he's got his testicles. And so Axel's here today because he's getting some pre-op labs done for a tumor that he's got to have removed from his anal sphincter. Now, just in case you want to, just in case you were wondering what 140 pounds in a dog looks like versus 140 pounds in a human, myself, you can see the difference. Obviously, I look much bulkier than he does. Not. So, um, he's coming in today. We gotta go ahead and we gotta remove this tumor. Now, this tumor is typically caused uh, by hormones um, and it is usually a benign tumor. So, that's all good news. The other thing is that because it is hormonal based, that means that we need to go ahead and we need to neuter him as well. A lot of times people may have resistance if the dogs have gone their whole lives without having been neutered, and then you tell them, hey, you need to have the testicles removed, otherwise the tumor is going to come back or he's gonna develop new tumors. And one of the concerns this particular client had was that they didn't wanna put him to the pain of doing the neuter if they didn't have to. The issue is that the surgeons brought up is that if he is not neutered, we're going to most likely going to have to put him through a second surgery again and then he may be 10 years old or 11 years old when we could have prevented it all in one particular procedure. So at the end of the day, if you, Abraham, if you come over here, um, you're going to be able to see the tumor. It's around 12 o'clock um, and that is something, like I said, that is very, very hormonally based. Um, so that's why it's so important to go ahead and remove the testicles. Um, like I said, at the end of the day, this is something that is usually benign. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll send this histopath out and we'll find out and confirm that diagnosis. Um, and like I said, the other thing is, this is almost always seen in dogs who have their testicles, usually males. So it's not something that we typically see in females. So if you guys have any questions about this particular video, please leave it in the comment box. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you know anyone who needs to see this video, please share it with them. Otherwise, be safe, and I'm just gonna let them take me for a walk. See you later, bye bye.